Welcome to Stat Attack. I'm your host, Rich Hagen. Let's do this. We begin with the Player of the Year race. And in the Player of the Year race, there's the situation. Marcio Carvalho on 78 points, tied 65. Watanabe and Shodi Aswoka just one point ahead of Reed Duke. There are 13 names on the board behind me. Any of them could be Player of the Year, but they depend on Marcio Carvalho not getting into the top eight. So that's basically the deal. Watanabe all the way down to Martin Muller on 51. If they make the top eight, that gives them a little bit of a shot. But if Marcio keeps on piling up the points, he is the favourite, of course, to win Player of the Year. What about Rookie of the Year? Ben Hull is your leader here. 42 points from Makis Matsukas. They were the losing semi-finalists of approach earlier in the season. That was their big finish. Then you got Francis Sanvrio, uh, Fumia Matsumoto, Evan Petra on 22. Tyrell Wheeler, real underdog on 18 points. You get 30 points for winning the whole thing. 18 would take him to 48. Ben Hull, three points guaranteed just for taking part. So 10 and 6 gets you six points. Ben Hull, Makis Matsukas, probably a head-to-head -head for Rookie of the Year. On we go. Draft Master, six rounds in the mornings. You've got Travis Wu. It's his to lose. He wins six rounds of draft. He wins. Draft Master gets a seat at the World Championship. He loses one round, and then it's open to Martin Muser and Owen Turtonwell, just a point behind. They lose one round. It's open to any of Calcano, Wu, and there's that man again from Greece, Makis Matsukas, on 42 points. Realistically, all these players on 39, they're not going to get there. Somebody here is going to go 6 0, 5 1 and claim the draft master. Standard master, little more of a marathon, less of a sprint. Here you've got Steve Hatto and Sean McLaren tied Canada and Luxembourg. That's the flag if you don't recognize it. Lee Shi Chan from Hong Kong. Argentina, Sebastian Pozzo. Kelvin Chu from Singapore. And Yu Watanabe in sixth. Our best guess is that one of those six will be the standard master. Because again, all these players on 60 points, 60, that is three full rounds behind Hatto and McLaren. So if either of them go seven and three, that would be 10 and 0 for anyone here. Not terribly likely. So the chances are you're looking at the winner of standard master from these six. Let's go on to the world championship. Here we go. Already invited, Josh Atalayton, Shodi Asuoka, Lucas Esperberto, and Jerry Thompson, plus the winner of this here Pro Tour. On we go. What comes next? The current leaders for the regions. North America, it's Reed Duke, 64 points. Carvalho on 78. Watanabe, 65. Palavida Domino Rosa, 55. Travis Wu and Standard Master, Sean McLaren, currently on tie breaks in prime position. So then, that gives you 11 players. We have 24 players coming to Worlds. These are the players who currently would be in the mix for those at-large seats. Kelvin Chu on 58, Owen Turtonwald. We're pretty certain that these three, Chu, Turtonwald, and Nelson, that's probably gonna be enough. 57 points, our best guess, somewhere in the region of 52, 53, 54 is gonna be what you need to make an at-large spot at Worlds. Right now though, Steve Rubin on 47 points, he's in. Right now, Donald Smith on 46, he's out. The only way that 14th gets in is if one of the regional winners happens to win this Pro Tour, and that would create a 14th at large slot. But right now, if you're Martin Yuza, Li Chi Chan, Ken Yukihiro, you're thinking, I'm probably in, even with a minimum finish. But from Muller down to Smith, a ton of work to do, and so many great players in the 40s trying to catch them up. All right, so on we go. That's the World Championship. How about the World Magic Cup? Two of the great races. France, Dajon, Levy, and Dizani. Hall of Famer, Pro Tour champion, Pro Tour finalist. A stack of good players who would need a top eight finish to be in the mix, and then a great one. Japan tied. Yu Watanabe and Shota Yasuoka, they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's possible that any of these three could make the top eight and make it interesting, but it's probably who does best of the teammates, Yu Watanabe, Shota Yasuoka. Let's bring you more Magic World Magic Cup races. Let's go to USA and Canada. Duke, Turtonwald, Nelson, the big three. Once you get to Jerry Thompson, our last Pro Tour winner, well, he has 13 points adrift. That means realistically a minimum of the top eight is needed from Thompson down. We've stopped at Donald Smith, but again, we could go way, way down here because there are so many great US players in the 40s who could theoretically get up to 70 or so. And if Reed Duke went nine and seven, well, maybe the door would open up. So. Very complicated race there. Canada, less so. Eduardo Sanjgilic leads from the Rookie of the Year, Ben Hull leader, and then a stack of great names, Pro Tour champion, Hayne, 
Pro Tour champion, McLaren, John Stern, Jacob Wilson, a Pro Tour finalist, Pascal Menard, one of the great current crop of Canadian players. So if Saj Galik stumbles, there's a ton of people waiting in the wings. What about some of the smaller Magic Nations? Let's show you some more of the good races. Here's Italy. They've got so many players in contention. Look out for World Magic Cup winner Andrea Mengucci. Mattia Rizzi's having a great season. Matteo Mori the same but it's Federico Del Basso who leads that race. Over in the Netherlands, Thomas Hendricks, who's now on Team Genesis, remember, leads the World on Magic Online champion, Niels Norlander. Hall of Famer Frank Carsten would need a good finish here. Another Hall of Famer, Jelga Vigesma, and even Charlie Traback down there on 10 points. If he happened to win the whole thing, he could leapfrog them all. Let's go on. Where do we go next in the world? Austria, the Czech Republic and Greece, three European clashes, three big name pros, Mackel, Polak, Rotman, Gershenson, Almost certainly one of them comes away with the title. Czech Republic, Martin User in prime position. 11 points is a lot, but look at the names behind him. Three great players in Blohan, Sohrek and Straski, and an up-and-comer, Jan Kassander. For Greece, they were the World Magic Cup champions, of course, and they've had a great season. Makis Matsukas could yet be Rookie of the Year. Panagiotis Papadopoulos just one behind, and Bill Kronopoulos, the beating heart of Greek magic, on 19. He needs a good finish to stop that being a two-horse race. On we go. World Magic Cup, three more nations, Brazil, Argentina and Australia. What a lineup! You haven't got Willy Adel in that Brazil list, but other than that, that is a who's who of Brazilian magic. Esper two Pro Tour champion, Carlos Romel, world champion, Paulo Vida Dama de Rosa, Hall of Fame, a six-point lead. This is a great clash for Argentina. Luis Salvato against Seb Pozzo. And then over in Australia, well, it should be a head-to-head. -head. Once again, for David Mines, he comes down to the last day of the season trying to be the Australian World Magic Cup captain. He's in a fight again against Ryan Cubitt with Matt Anderson and Anthony Lee in the mix. So what if we haven't said anything about your country yet? Well, let's rectify that now. Here are all the countries in the World Magic Cup who already have their captains li linked in. So Pavel Mirzveski will be there, David Soliguran, Marina Donato for Costa Rica, Daniel Antonio once again for Cyprus. Let's move on, bring you some more names. Daniel Lopez is in for Ecuador, Fernando Jose Juarez Oliva for Guatemala, Ragnar Sigurdsson from Iceland is in, as is Shahar Shenha for Israel. We'll move on again and show you some more. Gaudenis Dennis Vidigira, Steve Hatto, who leads the Standard Master. He's already locked for the Luxembourg captain. Mike Roan, Pro Tour champion for the Philippines. Marcio Carvalho, Leeds player of the year race. That takes care of the Portuguese race. And then finally, let's move on again. Here we see Alexa Tellerov, some familiar names here. Kelvin Chu for Singapore, the flock. Uh, master from Slovakia, Robin Dola from Slovenia, yet again, the World Magic Cup captain, and Karan Chedi takes care of business for South Africa. Pip Griffiths, once again, your Wales national champion. So that's all the World Magic Cup races. But what have we missed out? Well, we haven't talked teams. So let's do that just before we go. Here we go. Masashi lead by a long way. 25 points is a lot from Team Genesis. Genesis and MTG Mint battling it out for second. Then there's a gap. Lingering Souls here in fourth, 20 points behind Genesis. Puzzle Quest just one behind. And really, once you get beyond Channel Fireball on 67, probably this run here, they're going to need something extraordinary. Remember, Masashi, in an incredible performance last time, got 70 points. Add 70 to face-to-face -face games from their 63, you get to 123. That's nowhere near enough to catch Masashi right now. So almost certainly your two world team finalists are going to come from this side of the leaderboard, it's probably Masashi, and then one of Genesis or MTG Mint card, but watch out for Souls, Puzzle Quest, Eureka, and Mutiny in particular, because if any of them can put two players into the top eight, that could really put the cat amongst the pigeons. And that, here on Stand Attack for Friday, is all you need to know.